we are 25 meters away, everything looks uh, great, uh, everything is nominal, uh, the system is working uh, perfectly. So what sort of speed is it going at? Now right it's now? going at uh, 17 centimeters per second, uh, a little bit more now, 18, and this is pretty much the speed that it will stay at till the docking. So you dock around 10 to 20 centimeters per second. So that's what, walking pace, that sort of... Oh, it's slower than, slower than walking pace. It's a uh, lot slower than walking pace. But you have to understand that this is a seven-ton vehicle <laughs> that will bump into another vehicle. So you can understand that if you have your car uh, and you want to drive into a wall, you want to drive very slowly into the wall and not hit it at a walking pace. And where are the other crew on the International Space Station? There's three on board at the moment. Where will they be? Well, uh, some of them will be monitoring, uh, of course, in the uh, Russian segment. They have uh, video monitors there as well and monitoring the Russian systems that uh, also on the Russian side, the docking port is active. Probably some of them are in the US lab or in the cupola, uh, probably now taking pictures from the Soyuz arriving because it's always very nice of course to see uh, uh, arriving pictures uh, of a Soyuz vehicle. And a they are a very close now, very uh, close. 15 meters so they are almost there so uh, let's uh, stand by here for the, the real docking. So uh, 10 meters now. The commander is uh, reporting that uh, the crosshairs are aligned and that uh, everything is nominal. Speed is nominal, 12 centimeters per second. And I think we will have contact here uh, pretty soon. Uh, reported that we wait for the Cassania. So Cassania is basically touching so that they touch the, the vehicle. Two meters distance. And we have Dokken. So, and we see also on the, on the vehicle here that uh, uh, the vehicle, the m engines on the vehicle are, have been turned off immediately upon docking. So everything is nominal, exactly on timing, uh, as we see, uh, great, great docking. And a round of applause here in the uh, International Space Station control room here at Korolev. Uh, of course, the, the hatch is quite a big surface, so if there would be a delta pressure over the hatch, it would either be extremely difficult to open it, or otherwise, if you would try to open it, you would, would really come down hard and smack you in the face. So it's really very important uh, that it's equal. And here we so see actually, the other, the other yes, here yeah. we see uh, Caleri, uh, Alexander, who is uh, basically working on the hatch on the uh, station side. So we see him here in the meme one. Uh, I think he will get the tools there out of the, the small bag and uh, start uh, opening the hatch uh, shortly here. So it, it's not a question of turning a handle, it's a question of, of using spanners really? No, it's a t question of turning the handle. You see the handle just on the right hand side there uh, of him. Uh, look, the hatch is open. He has uh, opened uh, his hatch and then I think uh, the, the next hatch to open or it's already open is on the Soyuz side. No, it's already open. You see the, the people are coming out. So uh, uh, very good uh, moment here. Uh, Dimitri, the commander, is coming out uh, first, floating into the space station through the meme uh, one. Katie is uh, second, uh, coming through the hatch. Uh, very happy moments, of course, uh, for them to, to be there. And then uh, Paolo, I think, will then uh, be the, the last one, unless they send up somebody else, which I don't <laughs> think so. We saw him in the capsule going up, so I'm assuming he made it. Yeah, and there he and is, of course. Comes, there yeah. he is, of course, uh, Paolo, on board of the space station for the ESA Magistra mission. Very happy moments always when you arrive at uh, the space station and uh, when you see the crew uh, for the first time uh, after two days in a small vehicle. It's a, it's a very happy moment to come into your new home for uh, the next six months. And after that time, two days in, in the Soyuz, uh, okay, there's the capsule, but there's also the uh, sort of habitation area. It's still pretty cramped. 
it must be quite a relief to kind of stretch yourself, particularly if you're as tall as Paolo. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I think he could stretch a little bit in the Soyuz as well, but of course now having all these volumes uh, available, we saw there uh, uh, Dimitri flying, here KD is coming, uh, uh, flying through the... And there Paolo is uh, looking great uh, as always and uh, following uh, the rest of the crew there. So they would have been familiar with this. In fact, Paolo would be very familiar with this, but th they would be familiar with this from uh, being on the ground. But uh, certainly for Dimitri, this is the f his first time for real on the y space station. Yes, indeed, and it will be look quite different for him. Uh, I know that this was the biggest impression when I came to the space station the first time. I was coming there and saying, uh, where have I arrived? Because it looks totally different than uh, the simulators on the ground with all the equipment, all the wires, all the computers. Here you see them setting up. For Katie and uh, Paolo, of course, it, it will be different because uh, they have already been there on the space station, so they will see it.